Hi, this is Dr. Stu Weiss. I'm an emergency room doc here in New York City, and I'm here to give you science-based practical tips for COVID-19. So let's get to the first question for today. This question comes from Robin in Charlotte, North Carolina. Dear Dr. Stu, can you talk to us a little bit about hand sanitizer? It seems to be very important, but I'd like to know more about it, and I'd like to know, can I make my own? Well, thanks for writing that question in today. Let's talk about hand sanitizer. Here is a bottle of hand sanitizer that we have here in the office. Um, it's professional grade hand sanitizer, um, and it has 70% alcohol in it. So one of the things I want to talk to you about with hand sanitizer is it must be at least 60% alcohol for it to work. So remember, if you buy the cheap versions of hand sanitizer that have less than 60% alcohol, it's not effective, so don't waste your money. So hand sanitizer is a mixture of alcohol and some like lotion-like materials, because if you put straight alcohol on your hand, it would actually cause damage to your skin. So you don't want to do that. So um, that's why it's, this is particularly is blue, but it's a mixture of alcohol, and this one is 70% ethanol or ethyl alcohol. But you can use isopropyl or ethanol um, when you make your own hand sanitizer, and we'll talk about that in a second. So if you can find some of this, you want to buy it and make sure you look at the label to make sure it's at least 60% alcohol. 70% is better, and this professional grade is 70%. So, how do you actually make your own if you can't find any hand sanitizer? Well, there's been lots of recipes on the internet. And what I want to just point out is whatever you use, whatever recipe you use, you want to make sure that you have at least 70% alcohol. Or, six, sorry, 60% alcohol, between 60 and 70%. There we go. Um, the way to do that is to take rubbing alcohol and make sure you get the 99% strength because it comes in several strengths. One of the most common ones is actually 70%, but then your proportions won't be right. So find the 99% rubbing alcohol, and you want to mix that with something like aloe hand gel or some kind of hand cream, and you'll have to experiment a little bit. But you want to give something that protects your skin at the same time you're killing the germs. So one of the most common recipes is to take uh, rubbing alcohol, which is 99% strong, remember the 99% version, and mix that with two-thirds alcohol and one-third um, aloe or some kind of hand cream. All right, so it's two-thirds alcohol and one-third aloe or hand cream, and that will give you the between 60 and 70% alcohol. So you want to make sure that you use your hand sanitizer, either you purchase it um, or you make your own, but you use it often. And remember, hand sanitizer is for hands that are clean. If you have clean hands, hand sanitizer works fine. If you have dirty hands, then soap and water. You must use soap and water, and we'll talk about that in a different video. But washing your hands with soap and water is really important if your hands are dirty. Soap and water is actually the most effective way to clean your hands. But if you're out and about and you can't clean your hands with, with soap and water and they're clean, there's no dirt, then hand sanitizer will work just fine. Thanks very much for that question. If you want to send a question in, please go to our website, www.drstew.org. So that's www d o c t o r s t u dot o r g please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you the next time with another answer to your questions